It's been a great delight this weekend to catch up with Marina Sirtis, who's been pretty busy, even when we're not all getting lost together in Old Town Fuji, getting back to our hotel. So um, let's see the more, uh, the more productive, constructive parts of what Marina's been up to. Here she is. Marina! Hello. It's so delightful to see you again. We've had a great time this weekend here in Fuji. Fuji. Yeah. This was your first time uh, to a convention, not in Italy, but around Rome? Yeah, Rome? yeah, I yeah. Did the, I've done the other one in Bellaria. Yeah, yeah. And it was sunny, rainy, we got out a little bit, but um, it's just beautiful here. It is, it's, it? it's beautiful. It's old and quaint and picturesque and all the things you want to see when you're in Italy. Right, but it's almost as if there are some things that are universal in the fans. I mean, what is that like, the States versus when you go out outside the States? Fans are fans. For conventions and fans, yeah. Yeah, fans are fans, they just speak a different language. Yeah, I, you see the same kinds of things. Well, um, they surprised you or almost surprised you with a birthday cake? Yes, I mean, you it's know. It's kind of sweet. You get to my age, you don't actually celebrate birthdays <laughs> anymore. But it was lovely to, uh, to actually celebrate a birthday with, with people who, you know, don't know me per se, but kind of know me. Um, and who just are, just a lot of love going around, you mm -hmm. know? And to, and to spend a birthday with uh, all that affection and all that all those good wishes, and it was it was kind of special. Yeah, what was it, would you have a, anything especially surprising this weekend? Caught you off guard? It caught me off guard. Hopefully uh, in a good way? The amount of food we've been eating is right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've eaten this much pasta in about the last six months. Yeah, it's um, Italian now. Yeah, it's yeah. Italian. Uh, but no, I, not really. Um, I think actually um, the questions that I'm asked when I'm doing my q and oh, okay. yeah. tend to be a little more deep here. Really? Okay. I think, and I just think that's just part of the European mentality is that they're a little bit more... Yeah deep and intense and they want to know kind of more, they want more depth in, you know, there, there's more depth I suppose in their answers, they're more psychological, they're not so much, I mean I did have one question, who's the best kisser, but yeah, you know, in the cast, yeah. but really, um, apart from that, um, the questions are very bright and intelligent, and, yeah. and uh, so I can't usually give my pat answers, I have to do I don't the think, thinking. I'm trying to think if you had a really, a, a uh, stop you in your tracks kind of a question either without it in a good way you know? well actually the Heath Ledger question that's right yeah because yeah, you know they want it they don't only want to know about Star Trek they want to know about life in Hollywood and um, the ins and outs of the business right. and, um, so that that's the kind of question I've really never been asked before yeah and just to they said would Heath Ledger have won the Oscar if he hadn't died? Exactly, yeah, yeah. So, again not the kind of question you expect to get at a Star Trek convention but yeah but really interesting and um, a good question because you do kind of go, well, would he? You know, if he'd still been yeah, alive. Yeah. Or maybe he would have won a few awards, but he really swept the board this year. Right. And the happened. Golden Globes were foreign press, so it yeah. shouldn't have been just an American. But anyway, but you had been, we were talking earlier and you had some, <laughs> a few good stories from some of the work you were, you said you had been busy in England. Yeah, I did a actually. Lot of I worked in England and Bulgaria last year. I did two movies in Bulgaria. I did a movie in England, and then I did a British movie in Los Angeles because the exchange rate last year was so right. awful. Were... It was actually cheaper to shoot the movie in LA than to shoot it in England. And of course, it was in the middle of a heat wave. It, and we it's supposed shooting... to be It's supposed English... to be England. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there are all these lines in the picture about this is the hottest summer we've ever had. <laughs> and there are funny things happening, like um, we're shooting something kind of wide and the director's saying, make sure the palm trees aren't in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got all the Californians running up to Vancouver and all the Brits are coming to yeah, LA or something, exactly. something like that. No, you were telling me about the, uh, the one where you play a, a, a prison warden? Yes, that's the one, yeah. Yeah, what was the, um, that was a, they, they liked you for that, though, right? They did. They, they did like me for that. They, they thought they'd be swayed by Troy hair and all that, well, but not... Well, they thought that I was, A, too glam, um, B, I think probably a, a little bit too um, nice. Mm -hmm. But, of course, that's Troy, not Marina. Right. As the fans would <laughs> <made> me love. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, it was, it, was, it was a battle. I really had to fight to get that part, and I'm glad I did, because probably one of the most rewarding roles I've played since I finished playing Troy. Yeah, that was a cute story about the hair. 
the uh, hairstylist. Yeah. yeah. We'll save that one. So you've, and what was the name of that one? It's called uh, Green Street Two Stand Your Ground. And that's for the British market. It's actually coming out. Um, it came out on DVD in Germany, um, I think, last week, and it was already number ten in the, in the DVD charts. Oh, okay. And it's coming out in England, I think, anytime soon in the next week or so. Okay. So um, we'll be able to buy it. And the other titles and the markets that you were. Oh yeah, you were well, talking? Okay, the Grudge Three is already mm -hmm. out on, okay. on DVD. I nearly said video then and gave myself <laughs> away. Um, the uh, Doomsday, which was for the Sci-Fi Channel, is going to be on, I think, in the fall. Mm -hmm. And um, the uh, what was the other one? Oh, there's 62 North, uh, 62 North, 31 East. I'm, I, I, you know, if, if they're the wrong coordinates, <laughs> forgive me, because I'm not good with numbers. Oh yeah, well, if anybody so, gets lost uh, at the wrong. So really, it, it, but it's coordinates of a place in Afghanistan, and uh, that that. that that's a political thriller, which I, okay. I really was thrilled to get. What now? What are you in there? I you? played this prime minister's spin doctor, who is okay. basically um, oh, trying to cover up this awful thing the prime, prime minister does by betraying a, 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 a troop of uh, British SAS soldiers um, just to save a deal with a, an 80 billion pound deal with an Arab country. Okay. So he basically sacrifices these soldiers and um, says they killed a relative of the Arab king right. um, just to make the deal go through. It, it's just the movie about how corrupt politics can Can't, be yeah, and yeah. You know, how really a lot of these soldiers that we send out there, these poor boys, are just cannon fodder and they really, For these in their minds, plots that are way yeah, beyond, yeah. they don't yeah, really care yeah. about them. Well, you know, the thing that, I don't know if a fan asked you, but since we've been here, it aired in the States, but I've got to ask you about the Family Guy show. Did you oh, have it any aired. It, yes, it yeah. aired while we were out. Yeah. 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 And, but you're playing yourself, right? I, well, Everybody's I'm a, Troy. Oh, you are Troy? Yeah. Okay. I, I, thought they was, so. I thought it was everyone at a convention and you were all playing yourselves. At no, a, no. Oh, okay. No, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we did this. this I mean, I'm having to think back now because yeah. we did it about two years ago. Really? I, yeah, we've done two. The first one was about two years ago. Just shows you how long it takes to do an animation. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, isn't there one where Stewie kidnaps everyone from a convention because he didn't get to ask his question? And oh, there is that one too. Is yeah, it, that it one? just it just aired. Is that the one that aired? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I did another one where it was like this, like naughty, sexy thing between me and and. and just one of those passing, those little blips they just yeah. stick into the yeah. thing. Yeah. But then I also did um, at the end of last year. They're doing a sequel to The Family Guy called The Cleveland Show. Okay. Which hasn't aired yet. And I actually got to meet Seth MacFarlane that time mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. um, for the. Because he's a big Trek fan. He yeah. is, yeah. yeah. I had to go and introduce myself. <laughs> he went all bashful on me. Um, but uh, they do, I've not, and I've never had this experience for an animated show before, but they do a table read like a regular mm -hmm. sitcom. Mm -hmm. And so. Um, all the ca all the cast were there. All the you know animators. Everyone was there in the room, and we and we read through it like a play. Yeah. And they hired me for that because they needed someone who could speak Greek. Okay. Yeah. So I play uh, a Greek prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> On the Cleveland show. On the, the Cleveland, Cleveland show. show. Yeah. Okay. Because there's a lot of Greek prostitutes in Cleveland. I spy. I don't know. I, me, me and uh, I'm in it, and Ariana Huffington. I know. It's very strange. That's interesting. Yeah. 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 She's not a prostitute. I hasten to say. <laughs> So clip. <laughs> She's playing herself. Politics or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. There is life after Star Trek. Of course there is. Of yeah. course there yeah. is. You, you just have to be patient.